Why not? That? When you've got that to show off, that <laughs> is sure. live from Oregon's Veterans Home in the Dallas. Mm. You're looking at the tippy top of Mount Hood there. It's just uh, basking in the Alpen glow this morning. Uh, uh, sun up about, oh, 45 minutes ago, and the, the tippy top of the peak there is certainly illuminated, right? Uh, we're also starting to illuminate the North Oregon coast. Happy to confirm that uh, at least the South Washington and North Oregon coast will see some sunshine today. You will also feel that gusty east breeze that has been with a lot of us this morning. There's the live look from our Wells Fargo sky camera. It's chilly, it's 38, but when you factor in that sustained wind at 15, it feels even more chilly. So just be prepared for that. It's a crisp morning out there. The reason for the east wind is that low pressure offshore will continue driving or diving into northern California. It's going to affect our weather in two ways. Today, it helps to clear the sky, give us some sunshine and a gusty east wind. Tomorrow, as it gets closer and kind of does this little roundabout here into uh, northwest California and southwest Oregon, it eventually brings with it the threat of some mixed rain and snow and snow east of the Cascades. And I'll walk you through that in just a second. For today, the wind, east wind gusts could be on the order of 30 to 35 miles an hour through east Portland and certainly through the Columbia River Gorge. That east wind will be felt at the beach as well. Uh, 47 degrees in Astoria, we think, for a daytime high. West end of the Columbia River Gorge, really breezy. Of course, well, <laughs> windy. Let's uh, let's. <laughs> Breezy? No, this is windy. We could see wind gusts to the order of about 60 miles an hour or so uh, towards Crown Point and, and certainly in the uh, the west end of the gorge. East end of the gorge, gentle wind and some sunshine with a high of about 35 in the Dallas. Hopping over the Cascades to central Oregon, Madras Bend, Prineville, you all climb above the freezing mark. You'll start with some sunshine, but I think the clouds creep in later in the day. And then up and down the I-5 corridor, temperatures generally ranging in the low to mid 40s, maybe 46 in Longview, 41, 42 here in Portland. Uh, we'll hop over the Cascades. Cold start to the morning in Burns and Baker City and Pendleton, but you folks will get into the uh, well mid 20s for Burns. Pendleton gets up to about the freezing mark. All right, so here's the forecast here in Portland today. I have got us mostly sunny and breezy. We may get back up to about 42 for a high, but obviously the east wind will take a little bite out of that temperature. And then for the interesting stuff, Sunday, light rain or snow or a rain snow mix becoming all rain during the day. So here are the strikes against accumulating snow in the valley. I don't think Portland gets below freezing tonight, so that's strike number one. Number two is that the precipitation is probably going to be very, very light and eroded a bit by that east wind that we'll still feel. And if <laughs> anything does happen, uh, we do climb into the upper 30s, so that'll the, there will be a transition to rain tomorrow. Uh, let's go ahead and walk you through it with Futurecast. Our model shows that storm system offshore today. But it sort of pinwheels some moisture up the east slopes of the Cascades and east of the Cascades tomorrow. You folks are going to see snow for sure uh, across central and eastern Oregon and in the Cascades. Early tomorrow morning, we see some precipitation developing here uh, in the Portland, Vancouver metro area as well. Could be mixed with the uh, rain or it may very well start off as just plain snow. But as we already mentioned, the temperatures at ground level may be too warm to support any accumulation. That said, it's still something to watch as we see a transition to rain later in the day. East of the Cascades, it will be snow. We've got winter weather advisories down towards Burns and out across the uh, Columbia Plateau from basically Wasco County east towards Pendleton and up towards the Tri-Cities, where accumulations will be significant. Two to five inches out there. Uh, same story up in the Cascades. Coast range could see some snow. I just I just don't see Portland getting accumulating snow. Maybe some of the higher hills 500 feet and above could get a little dusting tomorrow, uh, but the odds are not overly in that favor. I keep mentioning it that that though, because again, it's December, right? Stranger things have happened. Worst case scenario. Yes, like, oh, we blew the forecast. Maybe we get an inch, maybe an inch, and then we're back into the upper 30s. and it melts away yep. and it's Sunday morning tomorrow. So everybody just chill. Watch us. We'll be here. Yeah, we'll be here. And if it does snow, I will be penalized by working longer <laughs> and later. Yes, you will. For your amusement. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Chris.